In Creole Parametric, you can go from replace by unrelated component to an interchange assembly to a configurable module. Let's take a look at that. I've got an assembly open. It's fairly simple, and we have a shaft in here. And let's say I want to change this with a different shaft in the model. The problem is if I try to delete this component, it basically wants to delete everything else in the assembly because of the different parent-child relationships. So I'm going to cancel out of here. Instead, we can use the replace command. And if I right click on here, in the pop-up menu, I can choose to replace the component. And right now it's got the option for a reference model, but there's no reference model that I have around. If you had a family table, this would be available. Same with an interchange assembly. You could do it by copy, but I already have the part that I want to swap out for this one. So I'm going to change the radio button to unrelated component, then click the open button and select the part that we want to swap out for this one. Now I will click open. And in order to swap out one for the other, I need to define the different geometry that's similar between the two that defines how the shaft is assembled to the body and the other components are assembled to the shaft. To do that, we will click edit ref table and it'll list all the different references that are necessary for placing the original shaft in the assembly and for assembling other components to it. There are a bunch of evaluation rules that you can use. For example, component interfaces, same name, same history, same parameters, same ID and type. And if you click evaluate, sometimes you get lucky. And in this case, there looks like there are some axes with the same name and a datum plane with the same name. So it took care of four out of 11 of the different references. But for the other ones, we're going to do some manual tagging. And you click on a tag and it highlights the reference in the first component. You could use this drag handle to drag it to what you want to make equivalent. Or when you select an entity, for example, the side of that key, you don't have to drag the thing over. You can just click on the equivalent surface. And I'm going to repeat that process for the other different entities. That surface is equal to this surface. Let's see, right now it's highlighting an axis. Let me turn on my axis display. And there is an axis down the middle here. Let's see, three more tags. That hole is equal to this hole. And I suspect the next one is also going to be a hole. That's the second hole. And finally, we have that surface is equal to this annular surface over here. So that's great. At this point, I could just click the OK button and get out of here, and it would swap out one component for the other. But before I do that, in the reference pairing dialog box, you have this option that you can check to save this as an external interchange assembly. I will click OK to do that. And now I have the dialog box where I can ch choose the name that I want to use. I'll just call this shaft interchange. And maybe I'm going to add a common name and call it interchange assembly shaft. And then click the OK button. And it saved out that assembly to my disk. Let's click the OK button. And that way we have swapped out one shaft for the other shaft. Let me hit the open button and go to my working directory. Here we have the interchange assembly. By the way, if you have a bunch of files and you're trying to locate it, you could use your filters to go to assembly. And from the subtype, you also have the ability to filter down just to interchange assemblies. Let's open this one up. And so here I have the interchange assembly that I generated from the replace by unrelated component. In order to turn this into a configurable module for use in options and variants, you can choose File and then Save As. And here we have the command to save this as a configurable module. And then I can choose my name. The name I'll call this one will be the shaft module. 
and then click the OK button. And you could copy, if you have this drop down list, you could click on it and save copies of the original components, or you could use the original components. I'm happy with the original components. I will click Save, Copy, and Open. And I'm going to ignore this error. It's because I have an option, a hidden option turned on in Creole Parametric 5.0. Don't worry about this, completely unrelated. Let me click the OK button. And here I have my shaft module assembly. There you can see the symbol for it. And we have the ability to add additional module variants and create variants. So in this way, this is our configurable module version. And here is our interchange assembly version for swapping out one component for another. So again, when you're doing the replace by unrelated component, you could save that as an interchange assembly, and then you could save the interchange assembly as a configurable module. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.